back to my channel. I'm James and this channel is all about movies and TV series from all over the world. Today we've got a review of another exclusive 4K Ultra HD release from around the world. Today we're going to be diving into 12 Strong, the 4K Ultra HD release and this is Chris Hemsworth is the actor in it and it's a true story action adventure war movie and we're going to be deep diving into this i'm going to do my review score on it my thoughts on the movie my thoughts as far as what the quality of this is if it's worth buying and upgrading over possibly your original blu-ray release or if you should just blind buy this we're going to deep dive into this and i've got a lot of exciting stuff to talk to about this now talking about the movie here just for a minute now 12 strong is a true story about the troops that went over after the september 11th attacks here in the u.s on the twin towers now, this is about the first troops that went in to try to secure Afghanistan. And here's the funny thing about it is, I just watched it actually last night because with everything going on with Afghanistan and things going on now, I just thought I should watch this and get this review out to you all as soon as possible. This is a recent release that I just got in here. I have a huge shipment that I got in of a bunch of 4Ks from around the world. So if you're not already subscribed, you're going to want to make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button because this is another exclusive review that you're going to find here on my YouTube channel. I do tons of these from all over the world. I get them in, I test them, I review them and let you know if they're region locked, region free, if they're worth getting or not. This is another one and I got a huge shipment of over $400 worth of Blu-rays and 4Ks from around the world that have not been released in the US regularly. So this is another exclusive review you're going to want to make sure you're subscribed for. Now, getting into this, this is another action adventure, war, drama, suspense of a true story. It basically takes place after September 11th. It kind of sets the stage by explaining the history of what was going on at the time, how we sent troops over to try to secure Afghanistan by using some of the warlords that were over there that were against the Taliban, going in and actually using their support and our air support we sent in 12 soldiers, and that's why it's called 12 Strong. It's about the 12 soldiers that went in, the first ones to try to secure Afghanistan with the warlord's help. Man, is it a great story. If you have not seen this one, you are missing out on a great piece of filmmaking. I actually thought compared to if you've seen The Outpost recently, I did a review on the channel of The Outpost 4K that if you wanna check that out, I'll put the link above here, it should appear anytime now, um, that you can click on that and see that review. That one was a decent war movie. I enjoyed it, but not anywhere near as much as 12 Strong. Chris Hemsworth, as well as a bunch of other actors, it's really an ensemble piece. It has Michael Pena in it. It has Michael Shannon in it. Um, just literally, I could list off dozens of actors that are in it, big named actors. It's really well done. And Chris Hemsworth, I think this is one of his best roles he's done. A lot of people say they like him in Thor. I didn't really think he was that great in Thor. Yeah, he was kind of funny in Ragnarok, but I don't think it's really cutting into his acting chops, if you get what I mean. And I really thought he did a great job portraying the true life story of the commander of the group of 12 that went in to actually try to secure Afghanistan. And it's really good. It has a lot of heart tugging moments. It shows a lot of the history behind what went into when we went over there to secure it with the warlords, how their thought process was. And a lot of the things that kind of explain what went behind Afghanistan and us going to war over there. And it is really well done. It's a really well done action adventure war film that it's one of my favorite war films I've seen in a long time. So talking about the film itself, I definitely recommend if you have not seen the film to go out there and watch this. If you liked The Outpost at all, you're going to love this film. Way better of a movie than The Outpost in my opinion. Better acting better story behind it, the buildup of what went on with the troops and getting to know them, a little bit about their families, about their mindsets, about the warlords' mindsets over there. They really do a great job of fleshing out the story better in my opinion. So I really did enjoy the film for that. And again, I did think Chris Hemsworth was great in it. Now, getting into the film as far as that goes, it is rated R. So you are gonna have language and war violence. Though I did think for an R-rated war film, it was a very light R, and what I mean by that is, is it did have shooting and violence in it, but not up close and not too much gore or violence in my opinion that I thought it was very tastefully done. So whether you're a guy or a gal that likes war movies, but you don't like them to be either too gory or too violent, I think they did a great job with keeping this at the perfect level without making it too extreme. So I did enjoy it for that reason. Now, it did come out in 2018, this film did originally, and it was released on Blu-ray in the US of A. Now in the USA, 
that was all it was ever released on. It never got a 4K release. This is actually an import from another country, and I do have some exciting information to share about you right off the bat. So right off the bat, I'll tell you, this release is region free. And that's great news for everybody around the world. This is the only 4K Ultra HD release that was physically released of this movie around the world. It is region free. And here's the kicker. Both the Blu-ray and the 4K Ultra HD, both discs are region free. So wherever you live in the world, it doesn't matter. You can watch this, put it in any Blu-ray player. It works in Xboxes, PS5s, PS4s. Doesn't matter, worked in them seamlessly. You can play it in Samsung, any region A, region B, or region C, it is region free. And I test everything, and if you've been a part of the channel for a while, you'll know I test everything exclusively, and both discs are region free. So that means all the special features, as well as the movie, you get them and you can play them, no problems whatsoever. Now, getting into some more data on the disc here. It does come with a 4K on a BD66 disc. The Blu-ray is a BD-50. Now, the 4K disc on a BD-66 was enough room for the actual movie. The movie's runtime is 130 minutes. So there's plenty of room on the 4K disc for the movie and the content on it. It does have HDR10 on it. And the HDR10 looked great on it. Though there is some things I'm going to share about the specs of this 4K disc before we get into the unboxing of this. Now, on the 4K disc of this, it does have the resolution is upscaled 4K 2160p from an original digital intermediate 2K master. So what that means is the original master when they filmed this was a 2K digital intermediate that then they upscaled it to a 4K resolution and put it on the disc. So it is upscaled. It did look great though. I mean, compared to the Blu-ray version that was released before in the US or around the world, this does have a lot more detail behind it. There's a lot more colors, a lot more depth to the image with the HDR and the difference between the lights to darks because it is HDR 10. It was a noticeable upgrade over the Blu-rays. Now with a war film, there is a lot of explosions, especially because it heavily focuses on the air support and how the 12 soldiers had air support and the bombs were dropping and the explosions with the HDR did look really good on it. Now, because it is a 2K upscale, Obviously, it doesn't look as amazing as a lot of reviews that I've done for native 4K releases. But compared to the Blu-ray, I did still think it was a worthy upgrade because with what you did get over it with the HDR, including the audio upgrade, which I'll explain about that, it does come with English DTS HD Master Audio 7.1. And that's where the upgrade did really shine on this because of the HDR, the audio, as well as because you are still getting an upgrade in visual quality over the Blu-rays, it did look and sound great. And for that side of it, I did think it was worthy for that. Now it does come with German in that same audio mix, DTS HD Master Audio 7.1, and then an English Dolby Digital 2.0 mix. So you get an option of what you wanna play it on, but obviously the English DTS HD Master Audio 7.1 was my preferred mix and did sound great on it. You could hear the planes flying above, bullets flying by you and the 7.1 mix sounded pretty darn good on this set. Aspect ratio did come in the original 2.39.1, which is 16.9. Looked great on that. They didn't cut anything off of it. It was the original aspect ratio the way it was intended. Subtitles, you get subtitles in both English and in German, and those are not burned in. You can choose which you want throughout the film, turn them on, turn them off, and there is some scenes, which is dialogue in other language, that it actually has the subtitles in English come on only for those scenes. So they're not burned in. You can choose whether to have those or not. And at first I turned them all off. And then what happened was when they were speaking in another language like Russian, um, I obviously didn't understand what they were saying. So I had to go in and turn on selective English subtitles. And then it only played them in those scenes where basically originally they were filmed where they had those subtitles come on, which I thought was great. Because a lot of the times you'll get a release from another country and it either has them on all the time or off all the time. That was not the case with this. This did have the original English option where it'll play them for those scenes where they were speaking in Russian, that it'll play the option of only the English subtitles on those Russian scenes, not for the whole film, which I really appreciated. Or you can play them throughout the whole film and that's both in German or in English. So there was three different basically subtitle options you could have for on the scenes only when they're speaking in another language to play them or to play it throughout the whole thing in English. So I appreciated that and I thought it was a great option to have that in there because I did like that it wasn't that I just missed out on that dialogue. It did allow it to play in only those select scenes. 
Now, as we've been going along, I've been showing you screenshots of what this looks like. As I've always talked about, it's always gonna look better when you have it on your own 4K TV through your 4K player, but this just gives you an idea of what it looks like, and it does look great that HDR10 did look really good on this release. Now, if you enjoy this video, please consider giving this video a super thanks for me. Down in the bar right below this video, you scroll across, there's going to be a symbol that I'll show you here that looks like a heart. That symbol is a super thanks. And when you click on that, it lets you give a super thanks for this video on this channel. And all that money goes right back into the channel here. And that's how I go out there and buy all these exclusive reviews and get these from all over the world to review for all of you on this channel. And that's how I test them and review them and get these out to all of you. And that's what makes this so exclusive. So if you enjoy this video, please consider giving this video a super thanks for me. Click that button, give me a super thanks, Everybody sees that down in the comment section below that you enjoyed this video. So as always, please consider giving this video a super thanks. I really appreciate it. And I love all the support and love that all of you have given to this channel. I really do appreciate it. And I just want to say thanks. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me. Make sure to give this video a like. Click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the bell notification. Just like this video, I go through a lot of exclusive content that you're only gonna find on my YouTube channel. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're subscribed. And as always, I put the links for everything we're talking about in the description section right below this video. You click that box, it opens up. The Amazon link to buy this is right down there. I do that for all of you to make it nice and easy because I know all of our time is very precious. So I put all those down there for you so that way you don't have to take the time to try to go find all of these. I put it right down there, you click on that, it lets you go straight out there and buy it. And that always helps support the channel as well. So make sure if you're gonna buy this release, click through that description section link below. That also helps support the channel so I can continue doing all of these great videos that all of you enjoy. And you can follow me on either my Instagram or my Facebook, which is just the name of the channel, in search of physical media. And I post extra hidden content on there, reviews, deals. If something doesn't work, I post it on there to let you know about it as well. So make sure you follow me on either my Instagram or Facebook and check the community section on this YouTube channel. Go down to the community section, check the community section on here once you're subscribed. I post extra stuff on there as well, that way you don't miss out on any of that content as well. All right, we've got a lot to cover in this review, so let's dive right back into this. All right, going into the unboxing here, it does say 4K Ultra HD in English with Blu-ray, Chris Hemsworth, 12 strong, and underneath in tiny print, it does say in German, US horse soldiers which that part actually is in English, but then it says it in German right next to it. The rest of it's all in English on here. This was a Lionsgate release from outside of the US. So this is another example of a release on 4K that was only released in another country, and it was about over a year ago that this was released. It's not coming out anywhere else. So this is one of those examples that if you wanna get this movie in the highest quality that's available in 4K, you're gonna to wanna to buy this and get this through the link below because this is an import from another country. Now, as I said, this is region free, so you don't have to worry about being region locked on any of that. On the side again, it is in English. It says it in 12 strong. So they knew that those of us that were in English speaking countries, were gonna wanna buy and import this release. And I love that they put it all in English on it. Now it does have a reversible cover. On the other side, the only difference on the front here is it has a green logo on it. And that's the rating for the German territory it's from. Other than that, the reversible side here is mostly all in English. English on your side here, and then on the back, it does say it in English at the top here with some German talking about the movie. And then in English again here, it does say the film is in 4K Ultra HD with HDR 10 on the 4K Ultra HD disc. Then it goes into disc two, has all your special features plus the film as well. So on the Blu-ray, you do get the option of watching it on the Blu-ray, so you are future-proof because it is region free. And here's what's unique. On the bottom of this disc in the little tiny corner here, it does say it's region free as well, region A, B, and C. So even though I tested it anyways to make sure, because sometimes, as all of you know, there's probably been dozens of times where they print something on the case that is incorrect, but in this case, it is correct. It is region free. All regions, it plays both the Blu-ray and the 4K, and the Blu-ray does have all your special features which come with the option of English or German as well. So you don't miss out on anything there. So you don't really need to keep a hold of any Blu-ray copy you have of this movie. You can basically sell it or toss it, whatever you want to do with it, because all of your special features are contained on this. And when I went through the special features that were released on the US set, I did not find any that were not included on this Blu-ray disc special features. So you're not missing out on any there, which is very nice because that is region free as well. Talking about the special features here for a minute, it does have a bunch of different featurettes, behind the scenes, talking with the cast, 
about the true story about the troops, interviews with the director, the actors, the producers, um, trailers for all the original trailers, US trailer, German trailers. So a bunch of special features for you on there. And it does say the special features roughly run an additional 46 minutes. So you get your original movie 130 and then special features run about a whole nother hour on the Blu-ray disc. So I did like that they showed that on there as well. Now, getting inside here, you basically got your two discs, your 4K Ultra HD and your Blu-ray disc, and both are region free. So you don't have to worry about playing those on there. There's nothing else on it other than the reversible artwork, which I did appreciate that it did give us the reversible artwork. So that way on the front of it, you do get it without the big logo on it. And it does look just like the English USA release that came out. And I do like that for a 4K Ultra HD release. I thought it was very nicely done. And I thought there wasn't anything that they could have done differently than what this would have been released in English speaking territories anyways. So I thought the release was really great. Now, it being a 2K intermediate that then is upgraded to a 4K, I wish it would have been a native 4K release originally, but that's just simply not how they filmed it. Overall, over the 1080p Blu-ray version, even the 2K is almost double resolution anyways. When you get to the 4K, you're four times the resolution. So it is a noticeable upgrade over the Blu-ray, especially if you have a good 4K Blu-ray player and a good 4K TV. This is the way to own this film being an action film. Um, the frame rate and everything else just makes it really stand out as a really nice and good looking film. So in that case, because I really loved the film itself, my review score for this is gonna get a 9.4. Now, I would have loved to have given it like a 9.8 or 9.8, but it simply wasn't up that high because it was a 2K upgrade upscale to 4K. That's why it got dinged some points. Otherwise, it's a great release and I do think it's worth upgrading to. I love the movie. It's one of my favorite war films that has come out in the past several years. I feel like there hasn't been very many that I've really enjoyed that much. And it's up there with one of my favorite war films, which is Saving Private Ryan. I've talked about that a lot before. No, it's not Saving Private Ryan quality, which would be a 9.9, .9, but it is up there and it is well worth watching. And if you've seen The Outpost, you're gonna love this one because it is hands down a better war film, better characterization and better film overall. I highly recommend picking up the film. 9.4 is a great review score for this. And because it is on 4K Ultra HD, cost wise, you're looking at right around 30 to $35. So because you're looking at almost the same price as what it would have cost if it was released in the US originally, most 4Ks come out between 28 bucks all the way up to 40 bucks. So 30 to 35 bucks I thought was a great price for this and well worth upgrading to especially because you have the English cover and everything else anyways. So in that case, the 30 to 35 bucks, 9.4, great review score for this. I suggest picking this up. Let me know if you've seen this film. Start that conversation down in the comment section below. Let me know if you've seen this. If you haven't given this film a chance and you like Chris Hemsworth, you're gonna love the film. It's a great story about what we went through to get our troops over there and what we did to secure Afghanistan. And regardless of what's going on now, it does show some true heroism from the men and what they went through. And that's where, no matter whether you're political on one side or the other, it's still a great story that's a true story that I do think we need to support and that I do think you need to see because it's historical and something that we really did and that I think everybody needs to see because I didn't know it. And I also didn't know that at the Twin Towers, the site of where those went down, there's actually a monument to the soldiers, the horse soldiers that went over there and what they did to secure Afghanistan and what they fought through. And I didn't know that. And that's a nice little hidden historical tidbit that I really enjoyed knowing about. And that's why I said it's one of those movies that I think just did not get enough fanfare at the time. People didn't go see it or just didn't know that much about it or I don't know, it just it didn't get enough fanfare. And I really think it's a shame because it is a wonderful war movie that shows these characters and what they went through and these men, these heroic men, what they fought for to secure Afghanistan originally. And I really do recommend picking it up, especially with the stuff going on right now. It gives you some appreciation for what we went through to secure Afghanistan originally. Definitely recommend picking this up, 9.4, great movie. Let me know if you've seen it and if you enjoyed this film and if you're gonna pick up this 4K release. Cause I'm always curious, just like always, if you guys are gonna pick these up and get these. So make sure to comment below. I was excited for this film because I really enjoyed this and I was glad to get this one in. As I said, I have gotten a huge shipment in, over $400 worth of these exclusive releases from all over the world. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you stay tuned because there's a lot of these I'm gonna be intermixing with a lot of reviews I'm getting in. 
A lot of companies are sending me stuff to get these reviews out. So there's a lot of exciting stuff coming out, especially if you're subscribed to this channel. There's so much hidden exclusive content that I'm constantly coming out with. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and give this video a like for me. Let me know you enjoyed this and consider giving this video a super thanks. All of that money always goes back to support this channel. And a lot of you have asked me, how can I support the channel? That's one way. If you're gonna buy this, make sure you click through the description section link below. That helps support the channel. And also consider giving this video a super thanks. When you give those super thanks, that goes right back into the channel and helps support this so I can keep going out there, contacting these companies, getting these releases, buying them from overseas, testing them and releasing these reviews for all of you. I had a fun time today. I hope you enjoyed this exclusive review. And I hope all of you have a blessed day and I look forward to the time we get to do this again real soon.